Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 24th of March 2020. And yes, I promise you the news are not all going to be about the virus. And the first news is a bit mystical because I can't say much, but there is something coming up uh, with Artback. So stay subscribed um, at the end of the week or maybe uh, beginning of next week. There will be an interesting new thing about Artback and you will find it here on whiskey.com. Then we have news from the virus. Um, a lot of whiskey distilleries internationally changing their production from whiskey, from raw spirit to medicinal alcohol. When you produce medicinal alcohol, you distill a bit higher. You could distill at 70-80% alcohol, depending on the requirements from the medical institute. And who did this? Uh, in America, we have Pernod Ricard, the French company, with the Rabbit Hole Distillery in Kentucky, the TX Whiskey from Texas. And uh, they are producing all hand sanitizers or sanitizers in, in general. And then we have Koval Distillery from Chicago. Uh, from the international market, we have Cure Distillery from Sweden, Brewdog from Scotland. And in Bavaria, our home uh, county or country, uh, produces the Liebel and different other booze distilleries that don't really make whiskey, but Liebel is the distillery, the whiskey distillery in Bavaria that now produces medicinal alcohol. But I would have guessed by now that the big ones, Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, uh, Heaven Hill, Buffalo Trace, they would have joined in in the in the fight against the coronavirus. But maybe we'll see that next week, or maybe. We haven't found this news yet. Um, then in Scotland, we have uh, more lockdowns and more restrictions. So the festivals in Scotland have been canceled. Yes, uh, unfortunately, you cannot go to these festivals because you would spread the virus there. Uh, the festivals are the Face Ale, the Speyside, uh, Spirits of Speyside Festival, the Campbelltown Malts Festival, and they are all cancelled. Luckily, uh, in Australia, they all have been cancelled in Australia as well, but luckily in Australia, they are now making a virtual whiskey festival where you can go into the uh, festival and there is a live stream on the 18th of April and uh, the ticket holders get uh, samples sent to the houses and then can then um, see the festival live online and enjoy it. Probably it's going to be something similar to our live streams that we have on whiskey.com. And talking about the live streams, uh, there is a Ask Me Anything live stream coming up uh, at the end of this week. So be sure to check in. I mean, what else are you going to go? Go out? <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> so uh, next up, Four Roses Distillery. Uh, they actually closed their production down on the 20th of March because they wanted to uh, protect their employees. Yeah, bit of a slow news week. There's not much going on in the world of whiskey because we are pretty much locked down. Our mail order is still online, but only in Germany and Austria. But thank you very much for watching and tune in next week. Hopefully we will have better news by then. Thank you very much and see you.